Over the first half year, pretty good. Um, all regions grew in sales, and that's an overall revenue growth of 3.3. Profits grew 5.8. That's a pretty good result. But not as good as expected, and the market's not very happy this morning. I'm not in charge of the expectation. We did not give guidance to the, to the, to the markets. We give guidance traditionally in August to give an outlook because we have the summer mm -hmm. behind us now, and the summer was not good in Europe, and that has led us mainly to make a somewhat uh, cool-down outlook for, for the rest of the year. That has been the main factor. But also unfolding lack of weakening consumer confidence has played a role. In Europe specifically? Europe and the United States, okay. we see that unfolding. And uh, on the other hand, everything in the emerging markets are still thriving. Uh, we saw a good growth uh, in, in, in Africa, in, in Asia, in Latin America, and we see that continuing in, uh, in the second half of the year. And the final part of it is we said we would put money where our mouth is, i.e. support our brands. And we will continue to do that in the second half of uh, the year. Does that so mean that more investing and less worry about profit sure. right now? Sure we are. Okay. Uh, we have been launching a brand like Desperados, which is a tequila uh, flavored beer, which you don't have here at mm -hmm. the moment. Uh, we have been launching that in 10 countries now. That, that needs for uh, support. We have been launching cider in Italy. We have been launching uh, the Heineken brand in Mexico, locally produced. Uh, we just launched it in, in now in, uh, in India. This all calls for investment. Poor summer, do you mean including the weather? Yeah, it's yeah. mainly the weather, the okay. poor summer. Uh, th we are a high fixed cost business and, uh, and the, the summer months contribute disproportionately to the, uh, to the profits uh, of, yeah. of a year. So yeah, this year, um, the summer in Europe particularly has been kind of weak. When you say emerging markets, we hear that from all the CEOs of European companies now. Does that mean the long-term trend is that you will focus much more on Asia, Africa, Latin America, and that Europe is pretty much going to be stagnant forever? Yes, well, forever I don't know, <laughs> but uh, for sure we, we, we do that already a number of years. Uh, Asia, Africa, and, and Latin America are those geographies where demographic growth, economic growth, and political stability are working hand in hand for the development of beer. It all participates to entering and being more overweight in, uh, in emerging markets, and today I would say group volume is coming two-thirds out of mm. these so-called emerging markets still one-third in mature markets. The other way to grow, of course, is acquisition, and we currently have the hostile bid mm -hmm. for Fosters by SAB Miller, yes. about $10 billion. Yeah. I see there's, of course, a Foster sign behind you, because Heineken owns the rights of Fosters in Europe. That's correct. Honestly, are, are you going to be looking at the, maybe possibly taking over all of Fosters? You must be thinking about acquisitions. You must be looking at that deal anyway. We always think about acquisitions, but then you have to look at where we look for Again, markets with a significant demographic potential and, and economic growth potential. Is 10 billion a bit rich for Fosters? I never comment on <laughs> bids, and, uh, and I will not start today uh, okay. commenting on bids other people might uh, do on, on brewing assets.